Good afternoon. Happy Sunday. It's It's been snowing this morning and then it went to rain and now it started snowing again. Um, it never sticks. You know, we live on the coast and it, it never stays, but it's nice to see it. I keep waiting for the trees to go away, but they're not. Um, well, I thought I'd tell you about my week. I've had a busy week. Um, sort of, uh, I went to see my sister-in-law who's not been very well. And then on Wednesday, I went out with um, two friends. One, I have a little group. Um, it's called like it's like the Red Hat Ladies, um, but it's it's not official or anything like that. We just go out once a month and wear a red hat. Years and years and years ago, or oh, probably about fifteen years ago, uh, I went to New York uh, with my daughter. It was when my husband was ill, and my two sister-in-laws came and looked after him to give us a bit of a break and we went to New York just for a few days um, just before Christmas. Unfortunately, we had terrible weather. It was bitterly cold, but it was pouring down as well. Um, so it was miserable, really. I'd love to go back again and maybe see some of the things that we didn't get to see. Um, because even though we went up the Empire State Building, you couldn't see anything because it was just all thick cloud, you know. But anyway, we may get back one day. Anyway, I'm digressing again, aren't I? Well, what happened was we went out for this meal in this Italian and this group of ladies came in, all dressed in purple, and they were all sat at a table and they'd all got red hats on. They were having such fun. So I asked them what they were doing. You know, I said, oh, you know, have you got dressed up for Christmas and that? And they said, oh, no. They said, we're growing old disgracefully uh, with the Red Hat Society. So I said to my daughter, you know, when I retire, I'm going to do that with my friends. So there's a group of us and we just go out once a month. We don't have anything official. Um, we wear a red hat. <laughs> That's about it. Anyway, of course, with COVID, um, we haven't been able to go out, you know. I mean, because a lot of us, well, most of us are over 60, if not older, you know. Um, so... Anyway, one of my friends I uh, hadn't seen for a while at Mariam. Anyway, we met up for lunch. Look at that. I'm telling you about this because she wore a red berry. She's got a lovely Mary Quant red berry that her husband bought her. And she had that on and it matches a beautiful, vibrant red hair. So I went out with Marianne and Sandy um, and we had a nice lunch. You know, we went to... Um, like a little Italian deli. It was really, really nice. I'll put some photos on at the end. Then I went to see, the day after, I went to see another friend who's uh, Pam. She's a very close friend and she she's really injured her ankle. You know, it, it's such a shame. Anyway, hopefully it's on the mend, you know. So, um, so I think that's about it. Have I done anything else? Can't remember. I know I seem to have been really busy one th with one thing and another. Oh, then yesterday, big trauma, uh, put my Christmas lights up outside. Oh, talking about Christmas lights, I've had some more lights sent. So I'll show you them in the next video. They're very nice um, and they're battery operated, which is good if you've no plugs because you can use them inside and outside. Anyway, uh, be because I can't get them up on the roof and that, and my son fell off the roof a, um, a few years ago and badly injured his ankle, he broke his tallies phone. So I couldn't risk him putting them up. So I paid a window cleaner to come and put them up. He does have quite a lot of people around here. Anyway, he came and he put them up and I got, I mean, I, I got these lights out of the loft and I got four sets. And I, well, I thought I tested them all and they were all working. They were like the icicle lights, you know. Anyway, he put them up, I've got like, it's like a dormer bungalow, so I've got like a lower eave and an upper eave, and it put them on both. Anyway, uh, my daughter came round in the afternoon, and we helped. We trimmed a tree up at the front, put some lights on there. Spent about two hours untangling them, um, and when we put the lights on, half the ones on the top area don't work, and also I'm a bit particular. I like warm white lights. Um, and some of them were that blue white. I must have had them years because, as I say, I've that much stuff up in my loft, you know, I was having a clear out and half of them weren't working, which was completely my fault because I told him they were working. So I've had to get in contact with him again. Anyway, he's coming back luckily. Um, 
to redo them at half past eight on Tuesday morning. So <laughs> hopefully they'll look all right. I'll send you a pic. I'll show you a picture when they're done. So anyway, I thought I'd come on um, and show you um, what I did was I've done a man's stocking. Um, it's come to about £17. So I thought it gives you a bit of leeway to put something in yourself. You know, you could put um, maybe a pair of socks in or something like that. You know, or if they drink, there's like, I noticed in Home Bargains, they've got lots of little miniatures with glasses, like miniature whiskey with a glass and a few chocolates in. They're only 2 99 I mean, it, it, it's such a good deal. Anyway, I'll show you what I've bought um, and we'll, we'll get the same stocking out <laughs> and try and fill it up. Um, some of the things are a bit unusual, so you might... <laughs> I, I got this. I thought this was really good for after Christmas dinner. It's called a headbutt game. And I suppose it depends on the age of the people but i think something like this is really fun after your christmas dinner and what you do is i think they're like sticky balls and there's velcro on the hat and you throw them and the person has to catch them i'm not sure whether you have to catch them um oh yeah try to catch so you catch them and for different areas you get a different uh a different score so i thought that would be fun after christmas dinner so I bought that, put it in this stocking. I've not tried this stocking, so I hope they all fit in. Um, then I bought this. This is a rum, it's a, it's a beer, I think. A beer special. Oh, do you know, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. This is what happens when you get older, you can't read. Um, a rum finish beer. Now, I don't know whether it means it's finished in. Oh, no, it's made in France. It's made in France. So that was 2 99 but I have to be truthful. I can't remember whether I got it from Old Day or Home Bargains. Oh, the snow's coming down quite thick now. I think I got it from Home Bargains, and that was 2 99 Oh, the game I forgot to tell you was 2 49 Then I got some chocolate eclairs and i have to admit i've eaten some of these i got some chocolate eclairs oh that's why that's ripped <laughs> i got these from home bargains and they were 1.99 i thought most people like chocolate eclairs don't they and then some other sweets i got i was going to get some worthy's originals because i don't know a man yet that doesn't like worthy's originals but these were quite a bit cheaper and they, they meant humbugs uh, Toffee Centre and Tumbles, and they were 89p from Home Bargains. A lot of the stuff from Home Bargains. I tell you what, it's getting full already, this. Then, particularly if you're older, I thought a magnifying glass was okay. And this was from Home Bargains, and it was a pound. So I thought that was really good. Just let me show you the snow. I don't know if you can see it over there. Look how thick it's coming down now. And I asked Alexa if it was going to snow and she said no. So it just shows she doesn't know everything. So sorry about that. And then I got this pen from the pound shop, which I thought was good because it's got glasses on again. It's got a screwdriver on it a ruler and a spirit level can you see there's a thing there for a spirit level so i thought that was handy that was only a pound so i thought that was handy to for a man to have in his pocket and then another thing i got from the pound shop was this i don't know if you've seen these i've seen these before but they've always been a lot more expensive and they're called wallet heroes and they're just like the size of a credit card but what they do is they've got a bottle opener on a letter opener, a little ruler, a can opener, there look, can opener, a phone stand, you can stand your phone in it, a spanner, a screwdriver and a peeler. I don't really know what you peel with that, but look at that, isn't that good? I thought that'd be really handy, it was only a pound from the pound shop. 
And when I was in the pound shop, you know, this stand that I got, I, I was looking for the stand that I had before, but I mean, I've had that ages and they didn't have them. They stand from a phone. But this one that it's on, I don't like it as much, but I got it from Amazon and it was £10. They had the exact same one in there for £4. So it's worth looking round the pound shop. Then the other thing I got was a car air freshener. That was 99p from Home Bargains. I got a face wash gel from, I got that from Aldi and that was 99p. This is getting really full look. A little hand sanitizer because they're useful, aren't they? You know, even if they put them in the car, they're useful. I can't imagine a man carrying one around in his pocket, but you never know. I think that was 49p and that was from Aldi. And then finally, this was from Home Bargains and this was, I think it was £1.40, it's a pub quiz. So I thought that's useful, that's, you know, a bit of fun at Christmas. So that all came to £17 and look how full it is. So it's just ideas for Christmas, isn't it, you know? I thought some of them were quite useful. Oh, golly, I'll put that down. Oh, gosh, my phone's going. I'll have to stop this. I'll start it again in a minute. Sorry, that was my daughter and my son who were on the phone. He, he, he I, I'd asked him to come for dinner. Well, they said four o'clock. Now they want to make it half past four, which would have been all right if I hadn't put the meat in. Anyway, I think we're making it quarter past. We're going to um, do it in between. <laughs> You know, it's just that um, I've just put the meat in before, you know. I always make uh, my Yorkshire puddings and my um, roast potatoes. I sort of do them and then crisp them up later on, you know, because then you don't have all that messing around and washing up from your Yorkshire pudding stuff, you know. Um, because I hate, I hate it when you've got loads of washing up and pans and that. So I, and I've made a cauliflower cheese. I just have to make, I'm going to make the cheese sauce in a minute and put some grated cheese on it. Um, I just cooked the cauliflower in the microwave, actually. It was very, in some boiling water. It was, it, it's come out really good. I've done that before, you know. Um, anyway, I know you're not really interested in my Sunday dinner. Oh, I've got another Christmas jumper on. This is a really, really old one that I got from Georgia Asda literally about six or seven years ago maybe even longer than that but i do like it because it's quite long a lot of them are short and when you're a bigger lady um they're not very good you know they don't don't cover all your your multitude of roles <laughs> uh, what else was i going to oh next week well this week coming up um well the man's coming on tuesday to put my christmas lights back up but on Friday, um, we go every year to Manchester on a trip. Uh, fingers crossed that they don't change the COVID rules. Um, and it's National Elf Day. Elf, you know, as in Christmas Elf, um, on Friday. And it's also uh, Alzheimer's Day. So what we always do is we go dressed as elves in, to Manchester. We, we supposedly, the trip supposedly be around the markets, but we've yet to go to the markets we usually do a bit of shopping and things like that but we also try and raise money for alzheimer's so we have a few raffles on the coach and last last time we went which was two years ago selfridges were absolutely amazing we went in selfridges and they asked if they could take a few photos of us in their christmas section because they were um dressed because we were dressed as elves we'd really only got like elf jumpers on and hats you know we're mad, aren't we, at our age? <laughs> and, uh, anyway, they said to us, oh, if you come back later on, we'll put a raffle prize together for you. And honestly, you should have seen this raffle prize, just for us to raffle on the coach going back. But honestly, they put so many cosmetics in. It, it was so, so nice of them. Anyway, um, we charged £5 a ticket because it was a really good... And we raised quite a lot for Alzheimer's. Um, so hopefully... Well, I don't suppose Selfridges will do that again. I don't know. I mean, it was just a one-off that. But hopefully we'll raise quite a bit of money as well as having a bit of a fun time. Um, what we do do is um, we book some of the um, the Christmas booze at the market. They have some karaoke ones. 
and we go on we go there i don't do much singing but there's quite a lot of people that do it. it's really good fun you know so if you're in manchester and you see elves next friday it's probably us <laughs> madness <laughs> so we're doing that on friday um so and then next week uh, i'm going out with the bowling lady so i've got quite a few things coming up i've got um a lovely dress that i bought from monsoon in the sale I, I didn't pay much for it at all um a few years ago and then because i've never been able to wear it because of covid so um i tried it on the other day but it's really a bit tight i might try it on for you and let you see and i thought i wonder if i could dye it over the next two weeks to try and get into it two weeks well i think the 18th i think i wanted to wear it on so I'll show you it now and then, well, perhaps not now, but <laughs> maybe in the next video. <laughs> I've got to go and do the dinner and see what you think. And also, what else have I done? Oh, I've ordered a dress. I saw, uh, I don't really watch Caroline, Mrs. M. Well, she got a lovely dress that she got from Shein. So I've ordered it. I'll see what that's like. Um, it was like red with gold leaves on. Um, I might be sending it back, I don't know. She looked really good in it. And I also ordered another thing that Caroline wore that I liked, but I did really like it. It was like a black cardigan from New Look with like a leopard collar. So I'll show you them when they come, you know. Um, and what else have I ordered? It's this uh, Black Friday madness, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what I did order. I don't know what this is going to be like. I, um, I've ordered a mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury. I've never done anything like that before. I think having an iPad in bed, it, it's, it, you know, looking at these things, it's madness. I put it in my basket, took it out my basket, put it back in again. Anyway, um, <coughs> when I tried to pay by PayPal, they were sending me a text and my phone was downstairs. So I thought that's a sign not to buy it. But then the next day, <coughs> excuse me, what did I do? I got up and I bought it. Well, I had some money, still got some money left from my birthday that I've not spent. Um, my sister-in-law got me some Charlotte Tilbury makeup for my birthday and it, it's lovely. I'm not very good at doing makeup. Um, but anyway, I'll let you know what's in it. Um, I got this smallest one and there were two items in it that I wanted. They showed you two, well, one of them, to be truthful. They showed you two items that were in it and then you get another five. Um, and they're all, it's supposed to be less than half price but I'll unbox it when it comes and you can see if we think it's good value for money anyway I think I can't think of anything else I've got to tell you but I'm I'm not going to do vlogmas as such but what I might try and do is three videos a week I don't think I can possibly do a video every day it takes me so long to sort them out and load them up but anyway I've prattled on again, haven't I? <laughs> so if if you um if you like the video, I'd be happy if you subscribe. Oh, I've got somebody at the door now. It's fatal, isn't it, doing these videos? <laughs> Either that, well, my dog's barking anyway, so I think I must start. Oh yes, that's my ring doorbell. Right, I'm going now. Bye for now. Well, it's really good. It's a very good thing. You might have to go next year. Do you mind going on the vlog? I'm sorry. Oh, let me see the glasses off. Do you mind going on the vlog? Yeah. So happy. So happy.